let's go to the website and download the installer. Here, we have different options for how we can create pipelines. ChatGPT will write a ready-to-use pipeline in just a few seconds, and now all that's left is to run it and get the finished document. It's an HTML file that exactly matches what we described in our task. Let's take a few nodes related to Excel and copy them into our pipeline. All that's left is to run the pipeline, which will automatically convert the files into a data frame. So, we've looked at a wide range of options for creating pipelines or using ready-made pipelines in NHN. Looking for a smarter way to automate your daily workflows? Meet NADEN, an open source powerhouse that turns manual routines into fully automated pipelines in minutes. In this quick guide, we'll look at how to simply and quickly install NADEN on your local computer, and so see three easy ways to create your first workflow that you want to automate. One, use AI assistants like ChatGPT or Claude to build pipelines automatically from simple prompts. Two, grab ready-made templates from n8n.io and plug them straight into your workspace. And three, download advanced workflows from GitHub and start automating instantly. Let's see how easy it is to launch N8N and supercharge your work with just a few clicks. To start working with NHN locally on your computer, we need to install Node.js. To do this, let's go to the website and download the installer of Windows, the latest version offered on the site. Install the downloaded file using the default settings. This way, we get a Node.js environment in which we can now run NHN locally. To launch NHN, open the command prompt or start PowerShell. Here, npx NHN means Node.js Package Manager npx will download necessary libraries and allow to run NHN locally. Now we need to create a new admin user with details that we can actually specify however we like here. The main thing is to remember the username, email, and password for future login. In the following windows, you can enter almost any values. At this stage, it doesn't really matter much. You can skip them and go straight to creating pipelines. Here we have different options for how we can create pipelines. First, we'll show how to create a pipeline using an LLM. For example, in ChatGPT, we'll describe a scenario where we want to create a new pipeline for our task. In this case, as an example, we'll create an HTML dashboard from a table of employees and their various characteristics such as the department they work in and their performance. ChatGPT will write a ready-to-use pipeline in just a few seconds, which we'll only need to download. And for comparison, we'll also create a pipeline in the LLM Claude. In my experience, it writes pipelines a bit better and faster, so we'll describe the same pipeline task in Claude and get a ready-to-use pipeline in literally seconds or a minute which we just need to download as a JSON file. Now let's download our pipeline in JSON format to the computer and import the downloaded file directly into NHN. We see the logic that we described in the LLM and now all that's left is to run it and get the finished document. In our case, it's an HTML file that exactly matches what we described in our task. Now, another option is to go to the NHN website and use the ready-made blocks which are readily available on the website. Here, we will need to navigate to the Products and Templates menu and then carefully select the specific blocks or logic that we require. For example, it could be a standard training pipeline, like in this case. We simply copy it from the website and paste it directly into the pipeline using Ctrl-V. Here, we can see how the logic works 
what data is filled in, what appears after the nodes are executed, how they work together, and what result we get in the end. In other words, the entire logic is described here, every step of the process as it moves through the nodes, and ultimately, we see the result that was needed in this particular case. Of course, we can also work with any formats, such as Excel, for example. Popular pipelines are used here for a variety of cases. For example, let's take a few nodes related to Excel and copy them into our pipeline. Additionally, it could be, for instance, some kind of interaction with the OneDrive cloud storage. Let's copy a few nodes related to OneDrive into this same pipeline. So, we can connect blocks in such a way that, for example, we take an Excel file from OneDrive via API, then transform it, and upload it back to OneDrive. There are also various nodes here, like starting a pipeline on a schedule, every minute, every day, which we can add to the beginning of the pipeline execution. We also have different nodes for communicating with modern social networks, whether it's WhatsApp, Gmail, or Teams. We can also launch executable files on our computer or work with files uh, directly. Now let's see how we can get a ready-made pipeline from other sources. For example, let's take GitHub data-driven construction and download a set of ready-made pipelines for NHN to our computer. After downloading the zip file, we unzip it into a folder, and in this way, we get a copy of the GitHub repository with ready-made NHN pipelines on our computer, which we just need to import into NHN. Here, we'll delete the old blocks and go to the import from file menu, then specify the path to the file we downloaded. For example, this could be one of the pipelines that converts closed proprietary files into data frame tables. We only need to specify the path to the converter that we will use, and which will be launched when our pipeline runs. Let's specify the path to the converter, and the path to the file we want to convert or open. In this case, it's a sample Revit file. After specifying these two files, all that's left is to run the pipeline, which will automatically convert the files into a data frame and transform them into a ready-to-use table that can be processed directly in NHN. So, we've looked at a wide range of options for creating pipelines or using ready-made pipelines in NHN. Now, whether you've built your workflow with LLM or chosen off-the-shelf automation templates, the next step is to run the pipeline and carefully analyze the results. This will allow you to iteratively tweak the process until you achieve the results you want with ChatGPT, Claude, Grok, or any other LLM. Once the automation is successfully set up, you can delegate routine N8N tasks, freeing up hours of your valuable time for more important work. You can find more data workflows and ready-made pipelines on our GitHub and on-site datadrivenconstruction.io. In real projects, it all starts with the parameterization of tasks and validation steps, now fully customizable, regardless of the CAD format. N8N and flexible parameterization is exactly what you need to automate your processes. Welcome to the new era of process automation with N8N. Subscribe and stay tuned for updates to keep up with the topic.